The Chabad started the friendship circle because we saw there is a need to help the special children in our community. We know there are over 500 students, children in this community who are special needs. Those children with special needs, when they come home from their special schools, they are totally isolated. A lot of the children with disabilities are not used to playing with other children. Their, day, their days include a lot of therapy sessions, um, everything takes longer when you have a physical disability. They don't have a lot of time at the end of the day left to play with other children. They may see their siblings having play dates, going to birthday parties. They don't do these things. It's very isolating for us. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a disability that unfortunately uh, impairs whatever social skill. So they, these kids tend not to, not to be social at all and not to have friends. And therefore, you know, uh, whatever time he spends, he spends alone or with us. I always felt like maybe he's going to be lonely, he's not going to have any friends. <laughs> The program is very rewarding because it lets you for like almost an hour a day, like once every week, you get to meet with like a child and you have fun with them because this is like the time that they get to be in a normal setting, like you're just friends. It's not like school where you have to learn. You can just hang out and do whatever you want. The fact that there are other people besides family members and a lot of them being her own age or maybe a year or two older, are here to spend time and attention on her, makes her day. For their own um, self-image, for their ego, for just feeling good about themselves, knowing that another child wants to come and play with them is a wonderful thing. Since we have started this program, I have seen miraculous developments in terms of seeing those children being silent and quiet on the side, totally isolated, or able to come up to the Bima and the synagogue and celebrate their bar mitzvah, or to give a short speech during their bat mitzvah and become part of this community. I had a wonderful experience with uh with Friendship Circle because um, at one point he has to go through bar mitzvah and he has a little bit difficulty because um, he has delay on the language a little bit. So Hebrew language was a little bit difficult for him to grasp and learn. So I find out that Chabad has a special program. They help him out with everything like from the start, uh, they read him the parasha that he has to read. At the beginning, it was like a little bit hard for him to go through this and practice and everything, but they made it so easy for him that he loves to go each week and learn, and he was so excited about his bar mitzvah. Rabbi Michal usually helped me get the Chabad. We had totally fun when time with, with reading the Torah.
have uh, established Sunday Circle where the kids come to our facility, to our place, and they play over there. They have a music, they have a Jewish arts and crafts, they have sports, and they interact with other volunteers. It's for two hours and a half on Sundays, two Sundays a month. And then another Sunday in the month, we have a trip. We take the kids to a nice trip on Sunday where they spend good time with the volunteers, they have lunch together, they enjoy the trip. The Rebbe wanted to create a better world. It's only from our part to do something additional in the realm of goodness and kindness. There is no better way to express our love and create a better world than to care for a special child. Hanukkah is a time that we ignite the light, but we don't light the menorah only in our home. We light the menorah, that the menorah will shine on the outside, people who are outside of our own home, because we would like to share the light with people on the outside of our home, but they are still our people and our own community. By you helping Friendship Circle, you are helping our own children. Every child in this community is called our own. I don't think a lot of kids are um, volunteering, and I think that it's a great cause and that a lot of kids should because it makes you feel good. I don't think there is anything better that you can do with your money. It's, uh, it's so needed. It's, this kind of program, programs are so needed, again, as I said before, for the families, for the child in particular. They need to expand the program in order to help the children more. They can have more days a week where the children can come over because they have more um, entertainment. The goal is to build a place, a location, a center where those children can come and meet. There's more space, you can put more events, activities in it. I wanted to be able to, be able to say that there's a center that's always there for whenever I need it. These families go through so much heartbreak and, and so much intense work, uh, it's totally exhausting. So if you can reach out and help them, uh, this is one, one wonderful way to do it through the Friendship Circle. Our children with the special needs are a message. It, uh, sometimes they're a wake-up call, sometimes they're a message that, uh, as my friend would like to say, Good souls who need to complete what they're meant to do in this life. You are, ladies and gentlemen, this evening are part of the circle. With your support, with your help, whether you can send your children to volunteer, whether you yourself can volunteer, and your financial support will help us to achieve to help many more children in our own community. Thank you very much, Rabbi. Thank you. Good night. Good night, sir.